Hello my brothers, today we will reflect how important faith in God is. What is the uniqueness of mornings that makes the Bible attach so much importance to the first hours of the day? When you open your eyes in the morning, it symbolizes that you are receiving God's mercy and preparing for a new opportunity to participate in divine plans on earth. This is why we value starting the day with gratitude so much. You may not be aware of it, but waking up alive every morning is one of the most underrated blessings. Before, I took this for granted and followed the idea that, as a child of God, it was my right to wake up every morning, not recognizing that it was a true miracle. I was blind, arrogant, and completely mistaken. The Bible states in Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23 that the Lord's mercies are the reason we are not consumed, because they are infinite and new every morning. Your loyalty is immense. Some people would give anything for a good night's sleep, others would pay any amount to witness the sunrise from any part of the world, under any condition, for just one day. There are countless situations in the world that have more value than a dead lion. Understanding this naturally helps to cultivate an attitude of gratitude in the early hours of the day. A grateful heart is the best way to start your day, as your eyes and heart are open to God and you are able to recognize what he has done, is doing, and what is yet to be done. As David wrote in Psalm 59 verse 16, in the morning he sang about God's strength and joyfully praised his mercy, recognizing that the Lord was his refuge and protection in times of trouble. While it's common to hear about mental exercises in the morning and how it can improve productivity and attract positive things throughout the day, it's important to remember that as a Christian, you are a child of God. He gave you a mind and a soul not just for your well-being, but to be an instrument through which the true spiritual being within you connects with the world. Your mind may be the battlefield, but it is not the headquarters you command, it is the Spirit of God.